Welcome back to Four Faces. And as you heard with the boxing, Four Faces boxing, you heard Shields won last night fight. Today is July 28, 2024. Let's talk about Calissa Shields win over Vanessa. Yeah, let's talk about that. So, what is this all about? Well, she won, right? We're talking about the boxer, Shields, who, by the way, have a horrible knockout rate percentage ratio of 14 percent you know she won last night um now that's fine but what's the problem well let's talk about that the problem is she jumped around like she won the lotto like she jumped around the stage ah, i did i did it. to a boxer and you heard if you looked at my video yesterday you'll see the boxer she fought Man, she wasn't nothing spectacular. She really wasn't. She only had seven fights. So Krista Shields, she beat a boxer that had only seven fights. And it doesn't end there. On top of that, on top of that, the boxer having fought between 2017 to 2023. That's six years she didn't fight. Think about that. So she beat a boxer. She knocked, by the way, it was a TKO, right? I believe, if you look really close at the video, it looked like she kind of like gave a little shove on top of the head to put on the mat. But as he needs to be. But the point is, she celebrated that. So the boxer, number one, she only, the boxer she beat last night only had seven fights. Number two, that same boxer only fought since, I mean, if you look at the time span, from 2018 to 2023, she didn't fight at all. No professional fights at all. So you're talking about six years of this lady not fighting at all. And then on top of that, even the fights that she won, the seven fights that, I'm sorry, that's the fight she won, the seven fights that she fought, one of those fights, she got knocked out, <laughs> right? So the lady getting knocked out. So, so Jamaican breakfast, right? Which by the way, I love Jamaican bread, right? Jamaican breakfast, right? You know, I'm talking about Shields, her nice, soft, cushy hands, marshmallow fist. She act like she did something spectacular. But the truth of the matter is that she shouldn't have been jumping around all so happy about that. No one thought she was going to lose. Like, it's not like she was going up against some great boxer, right? No one even know the girl. No one knows who she is. You get what I'm saying? And like I said, the seven fights that that girl had, that uh, Jessica, uh, sorry, Vanessa had, right they was basically uh split decisions right and one of those seven she got knocked out so what is there to be jumping and happy about right now with that being said listen so we gotta be straight and we gotta be honest just like mailboxes we should be saying shields you know what you shouldn't be happy. You know what? Why are you picking cherry picking fighters? Why we ain't saying that to Shields? Because she was basically cherry picking fighters. She fighting people that just can't box. Like what, was, what type of nonsense is that? That don't make no sense. So why don't we get on her too? Why don't we be like, you know what? Oh man, I mean, you know, look, look who you fighting, right? Just like we do to the Haney's, just like we do to the Tanks, the Shakur, right? We always picking on these guys and say, oh, you cherry pick, cherry pick. Well, guess what? We should be doing the same to her. But the truth of the matter is this. Let's just be honest. There's, unfortunately, there's just not that many women boxers. I say that again. There's not that many women boxers. They're just true. So the fighter she got, she's beating, ain't because, oh my gosh, she's some spectacular boxer. It, can she box? Yes. Nobody's going to take that away from her. But do we really know whether or not she's the quote? No, we don't know because there's no one she's really fighting. And that's because the pool of boxers in the female boxing world is just not that lavish. It's just not. Just be honest. And you don't have to believe anything I'm saying. I get that. But look at the numbers. Let's look at the payment. Because at the end of the day, the money matters, right? Big boxing matches, like if you watch a Shakur, a Tank, a Haney, a Canelo, these fights are bringing in millions and millions of dollars. I'm talking about me. I mean, I mean, a boxer could get 10 million easily in one night. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 million in a night time. 
she's not getting no numbers. The reason why, because the quality of boxing she's fighting is expected for her to win. Like, how can you not win against a boxer who had seven, only fought seven times and lost, got knocked out out of one of the seven? And in addition to that, she only got split decisions in the six that she actually won. <laughs> like, what type of is that? Oh, let me be more specific. She got RT, uh, RTC in one of them, uh, two of them. Like, think about that. So she ain't fighting up. She ain't winning. There was no reason for her to be happy. But man, the, uh, yo, the Caressa Shield jump up in joy. She jumped up because why she jumped up? Why was she so elated of beating a boxer that only fought seven times? You want to know why? I'm going to tell you why. The reason why she was like that, because Shields, just in case you didn't know, by the way, Shields, I said this before my last previous video, by the way, subscribe, right? Comment and subscribe. Um, if you look at her record, Shields lost. She lost in the amateur. She got beat down in the amateur. I mentioned this before, right? She did take a loss, so all that she never lost is a lie. Second one, she knows I'm telling the truth. With that being said, um, think about it. The last time Shields Crystal Shields had a knockout was in 2018. Yeah, I'm gonna say it again. In 2018 was the last time Shields got a knockout. So think about it, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2022, you get the point. It's been years since she had a knockout. So that's why she was celebrating. She's like, oh my God, go watch the video. Unfortunately, YouTube, we can't show you the boxing match because they're kind of like really strict now with that. But I'm gonna set up another channel where I'm just gonna expose all videos. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, so she was like, oh, I did it, I did it, oh my gosh, I did it. My banana hands, my chocolate, chocolate cover, marshmallow fist was able to knock this girl out. Oh, I did it. I'm like, <laughs> like seriously? Like you beat someone that basically no one knows. You cherry pick. And like I said, guys, last thing I'm gonna say. So yes, oh by the way, let's talk about the numbers and the money. Okay, so she did sell well at the arena in Detroit, Michigan. Right, she did do well there. Right, we got we got to take away. We're not going to hate here. We're going to let you know. Yeah, she did sell very well there. It wasn't a it wasn't a sellout. You know, we got they they based on certain percentages. So if you look at what percentage you have to get of the arena to actually call it whether it's a sellout or not, you know that's calculated by the promoters and right. But nevertheless, it did well. Um, that was about it. She didn't really sell, you know, pay-per-view and nothing like that. You know, where, really, where the real money comes from, she didn't really bring that. Um, because, like I said, and I say this once more time, unfortunately for the female boxing world, until they get quality boxes, female boxes, these females are not going to make the Tank money, the Canelo money, the Shakur money, the Haney money, and the, the Davis money, and the list goes on and on. They are the, the corporate money. They are not going to make that money because they don't have the female world quality of boxes. And I'm not putting the females down. I'm just saying that you need good female boxes. Because think about this. Shields, yes, Crystal Shields, she could fight, but who is she fighting? Just like we criticize the mailboxes for picking the people, why are we not criticizing her for fighting a fighter that only had seven fights? Why are we not criticizing her? But like I said, the bigger thing is female boxing need better quality boxes. And that way they're gonna make money. Female boxes that are exciting, female boxes that are knocking people out, female, because people wanna see that. Let's just be honest. People do want to see people get knocked out. People want to see that, right? This is why when you got Tyson knocking people out, even if he ever lost, people still want to go see Tyson. Even today, people still want to see Tyson fight Jake Paul. Why? Why? Why do people want to see that fight? And Tyson's in his fifties. Why do people still want to see that fight? Because Tyson was known for what? Knocking people out. You don't gotta believe me. Just look at what the people want. People want to see that. People are willing to pay for that fight. With Jay Paul, why? Because they want to see Tyson. They want to see, yo, can Tyson knock this guy out again? <laughs> can he, do he still have it? Do he still got the ability to knock someone out? Crystal Shields, she's not bringing that energy. She don't have the capability, except for a 
a boxer that already got knocked out, except for boxers that even a, a 12th grader could knock out. You get what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to put the girl down. I'm not trying to put Vanessa down. But the truth of the matter is that, you know, she don't have the skill set for that. Right? So just be honest. So guys, listen. This is Four Faces. Subscribe. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And you know what? We'll talk.